guys, it's Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a 23 week pregnancy update video and I'm so excited mostly because I've gotten so many products in the mail with you guys, like for you guys. Well, for me really. They're, <laughs> they're for me and for baby Thomas. But I have so many things to show you guys which is so exciting because it's all, you know, it's all for preparing for Thomas to arrive or make pregnancy more comfortable. Um, so here in a minute, we're going to jump right in. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jessica. I live in Southeast Texas with my husband, Trevor, and my two toddlers, Theodore and Tenley. Theodore is three and Tenley is two, and I am 23 weeks pregnant. Well, I'm now 24 weeks pregnant, but um, 24 weeks pregnant with our third baby, who we do know is a boy, and his name is Thomas. So we have Theodore, Tenley, and Thomas. Yes, we like teas. <laughs> or really, it's just me, and my husband is nice enough to go along with it. Um, I think I've explained it in a video previous, a previous video that um, my children all have our marital monogram, so Trevor and Jessica Reese, so they're all TJR. Um, I, I think I got it from my grandma years and years ago and I just love it. So uh, we have a Theodore James, a Tenley June, and now we're going to have a Thomas John and it just works perfect. Um, so my kids are quiet time, nap time right now, um, so I do have their monitors here, so if you see me look to the side, that's probably because one of them, Tinley looks to be passed out in her bed, but Theodore doesn't really nap, so um, he's just in his room having quiet time. Um, so anyways, we're going to jump right into it. Like I said, I am 24 weeks as of today, which is Saturday before Easter, tomorrow's Easter. Um, and when you're watching this, I, I hope that you all had a wonderful Easter. I know we're in quarantine and you can't really see your family. Um, I'm devastated to not be able to spend time with my family. Easter is my favorite holiday and it's a big one for me. So um, I hope that even though you're at home, you're still doing Easter and having a good one. <laughs> um, if you want to see what my kids got for Easter, I will link that video below. Um, I did do a video on everything I got them for Easter this year. So we are going to jump right into it. I'm going to kind of start off with my symptoms that has been happening this week, which really isn't much. It's, it's like not, I don't have that much going on, but, um, the main two, like the main, the main few things is heartburn and insomnia. And I don't even know where heartburn has come from. I never had heartburn, I don't think, with any of my other two pregnancies. Um, I really don't remember. Maybe at the very end with Tinley I might have. I think I remember having some heartburn at night at the very end when I was super, super pregnant with Tinley. Um, but before that, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Um, so, y'all yeah. see me fidgeting with my kimono. Um, uh, I'm trying to, I have a sports bra on and I'm trying to hide it because it's the only thing that fits right now, so... <laughs> Uh, I think I said in my previous uh, pregnancy video that the, this pregnancy, my breasts have gotten massive. They've gotten larger with my other two pregnancies, but this time it's unreal and now none of my bras fit, so very few sports bras fit me, and I'm trying to cover it <laughs> so that I look a little bit nicer. <laughs> but uh, I had heartburn. It's horrific. It comes morning, day, night. Um, my mom told me to try pickle juice. I've tried that. It didn't really help. Um, there's this liquid stuff my husband got me, I forget what it's called, in a green bottle. God, what was it? Um, it didn't help either. It was, it was actually really disgusting. It was mint flavored and I just tried it once and it didn't really help and then I was done with that. <laughs> but, um, those, the, yeah, so the heartburn sucks and it's kind of just like getting through it. And then, um, other than that, I have really bad insomnia. So... I take forever to fall asleep at night. I will be up until 11, 30, 12, sometimes 1 in the morning. Um, and then I, I wake up, like my body just wakes up at like 4, 30, 5 a.m. Uh, so I, yeah, I'm just tired. But then it's like at night I can't, I can't go to sleep and I don't, I don't know why. Um, so insomnia. <laughs> and it sucks because <laughs> I love sleep. <laughs> Um, and then, so other than the heartburn and the insomnia, which are, to, in my opinion, like the worst, like the worst two things, I guess, um, 
I have been wanting like carbs a lot, which is not that great for me, obviously, because I have gained quite a bit of weight already, which I'm not upset about, I'm not mad about. Um, it happens, every pregnancy is different, and I know for a fact that with my pregnancies, I get big. I got very big with uh, Theodore, I got very big with Tinley, and unfortunately, those are my genes, and that's how it happens. I get huge, wide hips, big, big thighs. I just have to deal with it. I was trying to like do a lot better this pregnancy, and I've eaten the salads and the fruits and the good fats, and you know I snack on nuts and guacamole. And uh, my husband bought me a treadmill, and I do it like three times a week on a good week. Sometimes, sometimes four times a week. It just depends. Uh, but three to four times a week, I'll do the treadmill. It doesn't make a difference. I'm still just as big and only getting bigger. But I have been really wanting carbs. With the quarantine, I, I'm assuming it's just because I'm at home and, you know, I, I don't know. What do you do other than snack all day? I try, I've been trying to, like, clean and declutter and get things ready for baby Thomas and figure out what do I need to buy. Okay, let's go through Tinley's closet, Theodore's closet. Um, let's figure out what I have left over. I need to clean this, clean this. Like, I have been trying to get everything in somewhat of an order of fashion because, as I've said before, we have a house that is a construction zone. <laughs> Eating carbs, home or not, whatever. I have been wanting, I have been wanting all the carbs, okay? Um, my husband bought ramen noodles and brought like four or five packs of them home when he did grocery shopping. And I literally ate all of those packs every like in the last week I already love ramen noodles I don't know why I always have since I was a kid like I have a ramen noodle thing and anytime they're in the house I, I don't buy them because I know they're in their house I will eat them every single day multiple times a day I love them I, <laughs> I don't know why and so he bought them and I ate them every single day until they were gone and I didn't share. <laughs> so, you know, obviously that's a lot of sodium. Uh, and I'm paying for that in swelling, obviously. I'm trying to um, drink lots and lots of water. Um, but I just want the carbs. And it's like, I'll make cookies for the kids. Or, you know, if I feel like baking something, uh, I make things for the kids. And then, like, it doesn't sound appealing to me. I just want, like, bad things, you know. Um, like Hot Pockets and pizza or ramen noodles and mac and cheese and it sucks. Um, I'm trying to limit it and like I said I do combat with lots of fruits um, and so I eat salads here and there as well and I love avocado and wheat toast and um, I think I've said it before I like the wheat thins and cream cheese which isn't that it's just like a I guess a better fat than others so it is what it is. Um, I am trying to drink a lot of water. I drink about a half gallon, a little bit more, as to sometimes a little bit more a day, but about a half a gallon a day. And then if I can get more in, I get I get more in. Um, I have coffee every day as well. But let's see. I am still like I don't want to say that I'm nesting, but like I, it's almost like I am. And I don't know if it's just because I have this opportunity for once to literally be home and organize and clean and get things done and I'm not used to that so I'm like obsessing over it but I have pulled out cleaning supplies and brooms and I have a I have a steamer that I didn't know that I even had or remembered that I had and I have been using these things and just organizing and cleaning I've bought organization bins for my bedroom I redid my closet. I, I literally took everything out of my closet and then only put back what I wore, what I was, was going to keep, and what I was going to fit. fit. Um, so I did a huge purge. I've gone through my kids' clothes. I've cleaned my kids' rooms, um, organized our half bath, and I'm just like, I keep saying I'm doing a corner at a time, a corner at a time. And then I've just been like trying to figure out, like ordering things for Thomas figure remembering what I need for the hospital mainly because I'm home and I can right like I have the, the time 
to make a list. Like, I'm making a list and kind of just scratching it off. Like, what do you need as far as, like, things. You know, like, Tinley, Tinley's my youngest, and she's two. So, and you got to remember all the things, like nipple creams, uh, breast things that go in your bra so you don't leak everywhere. Um, I need to pull out my pumps and see if, one, they, I need to find them. I know I have breast pumps, but I don't know where they are, and I have two really good ones. I have the Medela, I have the Medela one, and I have a Spectra, and I have no clue where they are since we moved. That's probably not good. I'll find them. <laughs> but if you don't know, insurance does give you a breast pump with every pregnancy, so if I can't find them, I'll just contact my insurance and I'll get a free breast pump that way. That's very awesome that insurances do that. Um, so we went over the heartburn. It's horrific. Um, if you have any suggestions, drop me a comment below, please, please, please. Um, insomnia. I don't even know how to get rid of insomnia. <laughs> like, it's just a thing. So um, we talked about the carbs, the ramen noodles. Uh, my bump is getting big. It's actually out there. I don't just look fat anymore. I, I mean, like, I'm pregnant and fat, but I'm, you can tell, like, oh, that's, there's a, she's grown a human. I get it. So, um, um, trying to drink lots of water, cleaning and organizing. Oh, my mom and I literally, like, my mom came over and we painted my upstairs. I... <laughs> So we have a little bit of an older house, and some of it is renovated, and some of it, some of it is not. Upstairs is not renovated yet. Um, we will be renovating the top, the up, the top, <laughs> the upstairs. But in the meantime, I still wanted to look nicer, newer, brighter, and whiter. So we painted all the brown trim white. Um, there's a bookcase up there that was brown. It's all white now. Um, I love it. It's like you walk upstairs, and it's so much brighter up there because we have huge windows, and they let in so much light, and with the sunlight hitting in on the white trim, it, it just looks way better. It really does. Um, and the white bookshelf looks so much better with all my kids' books. I really didn't expect how much, like, I really didn't realize how it affects your eyes so much or affects the way it looks so much. Even with just books on there, it looks so much better now that it's white, and I'm really, really happy with it. Um... So, oh, migraines. The migraines come and go. I think I've talked about the migraines before. This pregnancy, migraines have definitely been the worst. I've gotten them from the very beginning. I originally thought it was because I was having coffee aversions. Um, but that clearly isn't it. It is hormonal, I'm assuming, because I'm... I've been back on co coffee. And even when I wasn't drinking coffee, I would supplement caffeine with, like, half a can of Coke or something because I'm not big on soda. So I would drink like a half a can or something, something with caffeine and then I would have tea, you know, and I was still getting these horrible migraines. I never really, like when people, I'm, I'm a registered nurse and when people would come into the emergency room and say that they have these migraines and they can't function, I'd be like, are you kidding me? Like, seriously. I just never really took migraines seriously. And now... I feel like I have a whole new sight or insight for people with migraines. And it is horrible, and I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy. I really wouldn't. Um, which is really unfortunate because I have a really wonderful, close, amazing friend who has who suffers with migraines. Um, and I always like was just like, migraines, yeah, that sucks. I'm sorry. And then this pregnant probably... <laughs> from working in the ER and not feeling bad for anybody, they're just getting me. My, I, I literally feel like I can't function. When I have a migraine and I'm like, I take my hair down, I, I make sure I don't have tight clothes on, I make sure I've had caffeine, I take Tylenol, like I'm doing all these things that I feel like they're supposed to make it better, and oh, they're horrible. And I, I just, I feel like a horrible person that I never felt bad for people with migraines because it is legit, it's real, and I apologize to everybody if you've ever had a migraine, and yeah, I just, migraines are horrible, it's, it's been a horrible thing this entire pregnancy, and the point is they're still going strong, I'm still getting the migraines. Um, baby is moving all the time, he is very active. Um, I'm trying to think of when he's most active, but literally I notice him all throughout the day. 
at night when I'm getting ready for bed, you can tell when he's awake and kind of when he goes to sleep due to my insomnia, I'm awake much longer than he is. So, um, and you're feeling, you're start, I'm starting to be able to like feel him on the outside, not just like when you put your hands on the, out, on the outside of my belly, you can feel him kicking and stuff. Um, not just me feeling him. So Trevor has, um, gotten, my husband has gotten to, um, feel Thomas too, which is one of his favorite things with all of my pregnancies. He's, he's one, he thinks it's so cool when belly buttons pop out. And I think it's hilarious because my belly button has never popped out like ever. <laughs> And I think it's so funny because he's like, is your belly button popped out yet? Is it popped out yet? And I'm like, no, dude, didn't happen with Theodore, Theodore or Tin Lee. So I'm going to have it with Tin Lee. I mean, Thomas either. All these T names. Um, but yeah, so belly's getting big, baby's moving a ton and really starting to feel him more and more. And it's, it's wonderful. Um, so that's really pretty much it as far as symptoms and what is going on. Um, and I'm going to jump into products. Like I said, I've gotten a lot. Uh, I first found out that I was pregnant and that baby would be due end of July, beginning of August time. And we live in Texas. It's very hot and we live by the water. My dad is a captain. Um, we, we do a lot on the water. I kind of always wanted like a real summer, summer baby where you can do not nautical theme because I'm not crazy about like the, the anchors but sailboats. So um, I'm really, really, really kind of obsessed with the Navy Gingham with sailboats and one of my favorite, favorite, favorite companies of all time um, did a spring release with Navy Gingham and sailboats. And I will show you that. My camera is about to turn off. So, okay guys, so I had to like fix my camera and delete some stuff. I'm a little bit more comfortable here on the bed and I'm going to jump right into all the products. Not only have I gotten Baby Thomas, but I've gotten myself and I am just so excited. Like I was saying, I love sailboats and I love Navy Gingham. So I think I'm saying that right. But anyways, so this was the original inspiration for Thomas. Um, I hope that it... I just love this light blue and these sailboats. This is from Sweet Honey. They are all sold out. I will still link the website below because they have tons of blankets, girls and boys. Um, their pajamas is their they, their PJs are pretty much all I all I put the Tinley in, and then I bought some for Theodore too. And I just they're the softest material. There, I love Sweet Honey, and they're here in Texas. Um, so like the back side of the sailboats is the navy. Um, and it's a very small print of the Navy Gingham, but I still just, I just love it. Um, and it is just the softest and soft. I literally sleep with this. Uh, <laughs> so this will be going to the hospital with us. Um, and then I got him a second Sweet Honey blanket. And this is the same, same print on both sides. It's not two different prints. And it's just large Navy Gingham. Um, and like I said, it's the same on both sides. And so I got him these two blankets because they're exactly what I wanted and I'm obsessed with him and now he has two blankets. <laughs> and I'll probably buy him a few like swaddle blankets, like little ones to swaddle him in and then like, I had a sweet honey blanket for Tinley as well. She has two. Theodore is the only one of my children who doesn't have sweet honey. Theodore is the only one of my children who doesn't have sweet honey blankets and I'm at the point now where I'm probably going to order him at least one. But we have so, with Theodore it's a little different. We, he has so many blankets because my mom made him a ton, like, from her that are homemade blankets. And so we have a ton of blankets. Um, sorry, I thought he was coming downstairs. I can wait here. Um, so he has a ton of blankets. My mom makes each of my children a keepsake quilt and they're gorgeous. And then Trevor's mother, who is also very, very crafty, um, she makes my kids clothes and they're, they're amazing. <laughs> and she also has made Theodore and Tinley both, um, my, um, they both make blankets and burp cloths and they're just so cute. So they, Tinley and Theodore both have these amazing blankets, um, from both of my, both my moms, <laughs> my, my mother and my mother-in-law. And I love them. So they each have two main blankets, but then Tinley also has two sweet honey blankets. And now Thomas has two sweet honey blankets. 
um, and he will probably get a blanket from, he will, he'll definitely get a quilt from my mom, um, and then I'm, I am uh, positive, I'm sure that, um, my mother-in-law will make blanket, a blanket and burp cloths, just like she did for my other two, and I just, I just love them, like, those are my kids, like, two favorite blankets are the ones from Pamal and Babo, because that's what, that, that's what they call them, um, so, it, it would only be fair for Thomas to have it too. <laughs> so, love these blankets. This really has like started off and kicked off my, I don't want to say theme, but kind of what I'm going for and what I love and gravitate towards. I love sailboats anyway. I gravitate towards sailboats. I just, I love them. So, yeah. So, um, got those. <laughs> and then I've gotten Thomas a couple sleepers. These are the brand uh, Hannah Anderson which I've heard great things about. I've never had Hannah Anderson, but I know that Erin Williams duh, has like done, um, she said stuff about Hannah Anderson on her channel. So um, this one is so cute. It's space theme. And I just, I just love it. I think it is so precious with all the little space themes. And then this one is fishies um, and sailboats. <laughs> so fish and sailboats. And they're just, these are both, I think, um, zero to six months. Yeah, zero to six months. And then um, I saw this. A little shop was running. A little boutique online was running a huge sale. And I got this little, it's a newborn size since he's going to be here. Uh, my doctor has said that I'm supposed to be induced the last week of July. Um, so we'll see how true that, you know, like we'll see how that goes. But still, July and August are hot, hot, hot here in Southeast Texas. So um, I wanted him to, if you know, we're going to be outside and things like that. Then I got this little, it's so cute. And then the whale is Navy King Gum. <laughs> so there's that. And then I got him another one. This is just very light. Um, the top half, I think this is literally Edge Hill Collection. This is from, you know, like Dillard's Edge Hill Collection. So, but the bottom of it is blue and white. You're not going to be able to see that. The, so, the the top is white. It's like a little, this reminds me of like a tennis outfit, really. But the bottom is baby blue and white stripes, and then the top is white. But, um, got that. And then this little sleeper is so cute. And it's got sailboats and... Um, like beach. This is more beach, beach stuff, beach theme, crabs, sailboats, um, beach balls. Um, and it is ma Magnificent Baby. It is so soft. I, I don't, these are little boutiques that having huge sales online. So that's why I just ordered from them trying to shop small during these times. And the sales are great. So and this is so soft. Um, and then this little outfit is three months, and it is just so cute. I figured it'd be cute with fall, with some little shoes. <laughs> so, um, little collar and <clears throat> that. And then my absolute favorite outfit, which is Ralph Lauren. It is anchors, but it's so cute. It's like a, it is footed. So it's like a footed sleeper, but it doesn't have sleeves. <laughs> and I think it's so cute. I think you'll be able to see it. I don't know, honestly. I haven't figured out the whole showing things type. Yeah, 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 maybe, maybe, no, okay. Well, it's got navy anchors on it <laughs> and navy trim. So, love that. Lots of blue and navy. I, I just love the navy. And then this is just an, um, a navy and white striped with a white front um, little sleeper. I think it converts, yes. It's the kind that converts into um, like a, a pants sleeper, but it's a uh, a gown. Um, I just love these fret night. I love the gowns fret night. I didn't use any gowns with Theodore because I was like, he is a boy. We're not doing dresses on him. Um, <laughs> but then I did the gowns with Tinley and she wore them at nighttime and it was a game changer. It was a huge game changer. So I wanted to make sure that I had the gowns for um, Thomas for at nighttime. But what's cool is that this one converts to pants too. So if we wanted to wear it during the day, or what, whatever. I think that's it for clothes. My mom found these shoes. These, these were mine. 
when I was a baby. Um, they're little white keds, just like plain, simple white keds, but for babies. Um, they're so cute. I don't know, like, I don't know how to do this. We're going to cut this part out. Okay. Anyways, so my mom, so my mom found these white shoes. They're little white keds. They're so cute. These were mine, and then these such stride white, stride right sandals that um, look identical to the Sun Sands or Sun Sun Sands sandals. That's literally what these are. Um, and you know those are unisex. Sun Sands are unisex. Uh, so I thought that was cute that he'll have a little pair of sandals and a little pair of kids. Just white, kind of go with anything. If I decide to put shoes on him, like obviously. May just be a socks kind of dude. Who knows? Um, and then I went through like Theodore and Tinley's closet and I found a bunch of their stuff that um, I definitely have kept and I'm so glad that I kept. So I'll show those few things to you really quick. It sounds like Theodore's coming downstairs. This was Theodore's first beanie, and I'm so glad that I found it. It's got a little embroidered T on it, and it's navy and white. Um, and then these minky booties were Theodore's too, and so Thomas will get those in the hospital as well. Um, and then this was Theodore's and Tinley, and it's got sailboats on it. Okay, baby. Do you need me to open it? Yeah. Okay, do you want to bring it to me? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, so this sleeper is just so precious. Um, my mom got it, well, like, you know, Theodore's three, so over three years ago. And it has made it with all my babies, and so Thomas will get to wear it too. Um, this is Burt's Bees, both my babies. So this outfit is very special to me. It's just gray and white striped Burt's Bees. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just gray and white uh, Burt's Bees. And hold on. Hi. Can you open that? Apple sauce. Apple sauce. Good. Yeah, it's good. There you go, buddy. Now I'm going back up there. Yes, sir. I love you. It's not daytime yet. Well, it's still quiet time, nap time. Yeah, but it's, but it's daytime. Yeah, it's daytime. Yeah, we're just gonna play with some daytime. Okay, I love you. I love you. Um, so this outfit is so very special to me. Um, it's just plain gray and white Burt's Bees, but it is the softest material. Um, it is so special because this was the very first outfit Theodore ever had on after his first bath in the hospital, and same with Tinley. This is the very first outfit she ever had on after her first bath in the hospital. So it will be the same for Thomas. I originally didn't think that I had kept this after going through all their clothes. Um, and I'm so glad I did. This is very special to me. Um, this is from Theodore and Tinley Ward as well, but it's just a little sleeper and it's got a lighthouse and a sailboat on it. Um, so, but it's mostly just plain white with a lighthouse and a sailboat. And then this swimsuit, which it is not newborn, it's from Gap, it's from Theodore. Um, I kept it because it's so precious and I figured maybe Thomas will be able to wear it his second summer because it's not newborn, but it's um, 9 to 12 months. Well, no, what was that? It's 6 to 12 months. So I'll either just put it on him and it'll be massive on him, but I don't care. Um, or he can wear it his second summer, um, in 2021. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that is what I kept, and then that's everything so far for, that's new for baby Thomas. I do have a couple more things coming in the mail, um, like, um, his car seat cover, and, which is a car seat cover and a nursing cover, with a couple burp cloths, and... Honestly, I don't really know if anything else is coming. We we may be ordering his car seat here pretty soon. Just because I want to have it. Um, because, I don't know, I keep like talking myself in and out of why I want to buy his car seat so early. 
But the car seat we're buying is the same company of the jogger stroller I already have. Um, I have a, a mountain buggy duet, which is a double, um, a double jogger stroller. And I'm buying the mountain buggy car seat that goes into it. It'll work perfectly. It can click into my car, click into the car, to the stroller, so that Thomas and Tinley will ride in the stroller and Theodore walks. He's coming back downstairs. Uh, so I'm going to, hold on. Hopefully my camera won't die. <laughs> but we're going to jump through this really, really quickly. Um, I have shown you everything that is pretty much new or that I found from my previous two children for Thomas. And then um, now we're going to go through what I've ordered myself to just be comfortable in pregnancy. Um, obviously I'm going to be pregnant for the most of the summer. And I want to, I just thought, I was like, you know what? I want to have, I know I've talked about the t-shirt dresses that I live in, which I live in them. And then, um, I ordered me some shorts that are big on me now, but I figured I'm going to be getting bigger and then I'll be able to wear them afterwards. They'll just be like loose on me and that's totally fine. Um, so I ordered this lounge set. It is so precious. So these are Great. I'm not going to show you how big they are. <laughs> so, they have oranges on them. It's so cute. Um, Morgan Bullard on Instagram is who I follow for all kinds of amazing discounts and stuff. And she posted this um, lounge set. And I loved it. And it was huge sale. So, I ordered it. Um, I can't wait. I uh, haven't worn it yet. But I not only can't wait to wear it around the house, but... Um, I'll be taking it to the lake with us for Memorial Day weekend um, in May. So I got myself a lounge set and then some shorts. Like I said, I ordered me some Lily Pulitzer shorts. These are just like the um, two of them are the runaround shorts, the Lily Pulitzer runaround shorts. Um, I have some for when I'm not pregnant that do not currently fit me there. I'm normally a size medium in Lily Pulitzer runaround shorts. Um, and these are larges and they are loose They're They fit me pretty big. And so I have room to grow. And then I like, I have a pair of larges that I wore when I was not pregnant and I just like the loose. I wear them, um, specifically with one of my swimsuits. That's a one piece cause I, I wear shorts with my one piece cause I'm that mom and I do it with Lily. So I got these two and then I got this pair. I've never had this type before, but they're like a cotton um, just really comfortable. So these will all be going to the lake with us as well. Plus just summer. I figured I can wear these with um, a gray t-shirt or a black t-shirt or a white t-shirt and be comfortable. T-shirt and shorts with tennis shoes or sandals or whatever. It's hot in Texas. This is all comfortable. Um, and then my last three items I got myself um, are for the hospital. But um, I'll probably wear them before. So I got myself... The two, <clears throat> these are both at Target, and you can order them online, because that's what I did. But they are sleep dresses. Just some sleep dresses. Um, one's navy blue with white trim, and then the other one is baby blue and white stripes. And they both button down. Um, and they just, they button down, so easy access for breastfeeding. And I ordered size large. Um, so that they will be comfortable um, post postpartum and then so I ordered these they are for the hospital but like I said I may wear them before going to the hospital and then um, pink blush maternity was having a huge sale I've never 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 had a maternity robe before um, and it's my third pregnancy and I it's my last and I'm kind of like I might as well like Let's get one. And so when I got it in the mail, I put it on immediately and I literally didn't take it off for hours. It is the softest, softest material. So comfortable. Um, and it's for pregnancy and non-pregnant. Um, but they advertise them as like maternity robes and then uh, they have, they like, you don't have to be, you don't have to be pregnant to wear this robe is what I'm saying. Like it'll fit me perfect even after. And that's why I got this like oatmeal color that it, it'll be perfect for after, you know, like I was at first I wanted a, um, I was wanting it and it has the, the lace detailing. 
and I just love, I just love it, and it's so soft. But at first I was like, I want a navy gingham robe for the hospital, and I want Thomas to have a navy and gingham little gown thing for pictures or whatever. And then I was like, am I ever going to wear that again? Am I buying just for his theme? And so I went with this. Um, oatmeal cream color and I will wear it forever. I'm a very neutral person so it is so soft. I, I can't wait. And I figured these are navy so like this is still cute. And he'll have navy outfits. I still may buy him like a navy um, gingham uh, outfit. I'm not quite sure but it'll still be in that realm of cuteness and Okay, guys, that is it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm so excited to now be 24 weeks and share my 23 weeks with you guys, my symptoms, what went on this last week, and all the amazing products I've gotten. Um, if you have any questions, please drop me a comment below. If you have any recommendations, please leave me a comment below. Do not forget to hit that thumbs up button and then subscribe to my channel. I'd love, you, I'd love to have you be a part of my family. Um, and I'm going to show you my bump before completely closing out. Okay. There's the front. There's the side. Alright guys, see you in the next one.